Hello Dupree's. Today we will be doing an experiment. I will be showing you how you can tell if you're a super taster. How are you gonna do that? By counting your taste buds. Oh, well then, let's get started. And here are the ingredients you're going to need. Giddy. Wait, oh. <laughs> you are going to need food coloring. Most, most hopefully will be blue. Helpful, helpful will be blue. You're going to need a magnifying glass. This has a light on it, but I'm going to need a brighter light such as this flash because I'm blind. You're going to need gloves for sanitation, of course. Paper and a piece of pen... <laughs> Pencil and a piece of paper to log down things. And you're going to need wax paper and I will show you how it needs to be cut. Get ready, Duncan. This is Duncan. Say hello, Duncan. Hi, I know I look a bit different, but I'm damn sexy, aren't I? First thing you're going to do is you're going to get blue food coloring and take off the top. <laughs> oh, yeah. Blue food coloring. Next thing that's going to happen, stick a tongue, Duncan. You're going to put a small drop. Remember, food coloring, a little goes a long way, okay? Uh, I have learned this the hard way, but you're going to put a drop. Huh? <laughs> no, at, don't do that. I'm looking at the camera. You're going to put a drop. <laughs> yeah. You're going to put a drop on the tongue. So what are you going to do before, don't, hold it. I'm going to need you to go like, like, no, 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 no. They like spread it all over your tongue, mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Just do it. Okay, now I need you to swallow as many times as you can to get uh, your dung. Get your tongue. <laughs> I, I'm not going to swallow dung. <laughs> swallow as many times as you can to get your tongue as dry as possible. Food coloring actually tastes pretty sweet. I told you. And this is what the tongue will look like. Okay, now with the wax paper, you're going to take out a small piece. I already have them already done, but I will show you it and explain it. Stop it. <clears throat> you're going to take you're going to cut a small square that would fit easily on a tongue. And you're going to hole punch a piece in it. Just a small little, if it'll focus. Put your hand behind it, Duncan. Focus. Okay. You just, yeah, that's what you do. <clears throat> Next step is you're going to have your specimen stick out their tongue. Now, with this wax piece of paper, you're going to place it. On their tongue. <laughs> now, get in your magnifying glass. Stick it out as far as you can. You're going... Oh. <laughs> as far as you can, please. If it'll... I'm not dead then. Would you please quit it? And... Hmm. Hold up. Okay, I shifted the paper down just a little bit to see if I can get it easier. I don't like it. <laughs> Would you quit it? Okay. <laughs> so what you're going to do, I don't think you can see in the light, but they're going to be kind of like clear indentations. Not indentations, like bubble-like. See if it'll focus. Hold on. Because you can see it without it if it will focus. Your spit is stringing. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> what a... Stick your tongue out! Ah. <laughs> if you stop moving, it'll I... focus. <laughs> stop twitching your tongue! <laughs> Involuntary. Okay, well, no, I'll just count. One, two... Ooh, there's a lot. <laughs> stop it! <laughs> stop talking, because you're breathing on me. <laughs> I swear... <laughs> you have like, stop it! Duncan! 
I will smack you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he said okay. Okay. And there's at least, I would say, about... You have a lot, like, more than I've counted this whole time. Wait. Maybe I'll get it at a different angle. Your tongue is, like, shedding. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna say about 20, just because. Uh -huh. But they're very small. Uh -huh. So you're not picky, but... <laughs> <laughs> you just eat the paper. <laughs> no... Okay, these are the results for the five people I've done so very far. So very far. So far. <laughs> Such grammar. <laughs> I had my friend Ariel. She had ten very small, and she's not really a very picky person. Orion, he had five very, very small, and he's not picky. <clears throat> my friend Michaela had four, but they were very, very large. She's picky. And she is, and she is a picky person. person. And my friend Nick, he had four. They were very small, but he's not very picky. And then Duncan... Duncan. Uh, he had 20 very small. There's uh, there's probably more than 20, but there's so many that I didn't really exactly just want to count. He had about 20. They're very small. He can he can be picky, but um, like a weird thing about him, he doesn't like chocolate. I don't exactly understand that about him, but he doesn't like chocolate. So what I've come to the conclusion with this is the fact that the number of taste buds doesn't exactly correlate with super tasters, but so much as the size of them. We didn't exactly explain this at the beginning of the video, but a super taster usually is someone who's just able to taste more than a normal person would. And my biology teacher says it co correlates with um, how many taste buds you have uh, in a certain little area that you that we. <clears throat> I'm not gonna pick it up because he patted it in his mouth. But the certain little area would count it. Um, she said it would depend on how many were in there, if you were super taster or not. <clears throat> but I've come to the conclusion that it was more like the size. So, like, there are people who have jobs and everything just for tasting or smelling or maybe even hearing. So, soup, yeah, hearing. What, what, what are you trying to say here? So, <clears throat> she just wanted to see a super taster. If this is interesting then you, to you, like the video and everything will be okay. <laughs>